Hey guys, the Key Dude here, and today I have an unboxing of the Xiaomi Gicker Smart Cube. Alright, so here we have the packaging of the Gicker or Geeker Smart Cube. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with Gicker for the rest of the video. This thing was packaged extremely well, and we're just going to open up the box. All right, so here is what the cube looks like straight out of the box. And in this is nothing there, and then a little pamphlet with, I guess some instructions, not in English, so I do not know how to read that. But this is the cube. Uh, if you look online, you can see that it is magnetic, and I believe it's a speed cube, and my understanding is that this cube, you can hook up to your phone through an app, and I'll be going through that I'll have a side-by-side -side thing right there with the phone screen there and then the cube on the left side and it connects to the phone and then as you do turns it does it on there. I'm not quite sure of all the features because it wouldn't let me actually look at all the features until I connected a smart cube with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through that entire process with you guys. So yeah, this looks like a little charging port. It I'm not sure if it comes with a charging cable. All right, so this thing does not come with a charging cable which is unfortunate, but thankfully I have a micro USB, which should fit into that and help charge it. And there's little charging little ports right there. All right, so taking a close look at the colors, I did have to run the colors by Colleen because as many of you guys know, I am colorblind. Here we have orange, we have a solid blue, I really like that, pink, green, kind of like a, kind of a sea green, a sea foam green, I guess. And then we have yellow, and white. And like I said, this cube feels a lot heavier than something such as the GANs Air SM, which is an air cube, but let's go ahead and do first turns. I don't know if you guys can hear the clicking. So it definitely is very, very clicky. It is magnetic, and I knew that going into it because online, if you want to take a look at the mechanism online, which I actually will not be covering in this video because I know there's sensors and all the centers. Uh, I don't really want to screw with any of those before I even connect it to the phone. So if you want to see the mechanism, uh, at this point, go ahead and look at the link down in the description. There's a picture there. I believe it's in Chinese, all the writing, but you can see all the pieces there. But it turns pretty well so far. Uh, and then corner cutting is pretty much on par with all the speed cubes nowadays. And then a reverse is the same. So it feels like a pretty good speed cube. The clicking is going to get kind of annoying, I think, but I think this is more for beginners. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at my phone and look at the app store. I have an iPhone. I'm not quite sure if this app is available on Android. But all I looked up to get the app is Gicker, Supercube by Gicker, and then open. Uh, and so here we have the app itself. It's a Supercube. So I guess this is a pretty Supercube. But we're going to go ahead and connect it. Now I'm not quite sure how to. Uh, I'm going to just hit one of them. And then it says connect your Supercube. Going to hit connect. Open Bluetooth to allow Supercube to connect accessories. Okay, I have Bluetooth on. All right, so I've currently been trying to connect my cube to my phone uh, for the, maybe the last 30 minutes, and I've been having a lot of trouble. I'm not really, I can't read the, the pamphlet, so I've been using a scanner app to then get the text uh, over onto a note, uh, like a note card type thing on my phone, and then I use Google Translate. And then it's bringing me to a few different things. I'm trying to charge it up. Uh, as you can see, you plug it in. And then that plugs in. Once again, it does not come with a micro USB cable, so hopefully you have one. If not, you're going to have to go get one. But I'm going to sort of let this charge for like another half an hour and then see if I have any luck then. All right, so miraculously, somehow, some way, this uh, cube, I think it had to be fully charged. I'm not quite sure if it quite is yet, but uh, it finally hooked up to my thing, so make sure you charge it. 
and then take off this by sort of pulling it out. And then let's go ahead and look at this cube on the phone. At the Super Cube app, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Cubic Run, connect, and then it brings you to this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then this thing should beep. Not quite sure if you heard that yet, but let's go ahead and do Cubic Run now. Test your reaction by following the moves. All right, so how do you want me to hold it? With white on top, blue, okay, just like that. And go. All right, now let's get one wrong. Oh, game over. Okay, so I guess that's a little mini game, I guess, to follow the turns. Kind of like a Simon Says type of thing. But I got to level nine, which I'm assuming means nine moves. And I don't know if you noticed at the end, it's already getting a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this cube and let's go on to the next mini game. All right, so opening up the app again, we're going to go ahead and go to Crazy Puzzle. Collect pixel picks by one face clone. Go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first one. Okay, clone above the pattern with your cube. Please note that the color, or tips, please note the color of the center block. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I can do that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it, it, if I don't know if you can tell, but doing the moves on the cube then messes with the cube on the bottom of the screen. So looking at the yellow face, it's pretty quick. So I'm going to turn it right now, and then it turned. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. And then we're going to get green there and blue there. And then I need yellow or white there. All right, so there's the flower. So there it is. All right, so there's another mini game. I'm gonna go ahead and solve this. And actually, let's just go ahead and go to complete clone. So six face complete clone challenge. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it gives you your observation time. I'm just gonna go ahead and solve it and then put it into that pattern. And all right, clone above the pattern. So the timer started immediately, and I gotta kinda keep in mind the color scheme on this thing, cause it's a little bit off. Okay, so completed the pattern. Took me 53 seconds. So let's go ahead and look at the next little mini game. Cubic escape. Escape from the cubic within step limits. Let's hit go, go to the first one. So I guess reach the spotlight within step limits. Okay, so I want to hold it like that and, oh, so there's three turns to get that little guy there. So that's gonna be one turn. Mission completed. Okay, so I guess that's kind of helpful to sort of see, okay, two turns. So there, oh, that's not, that's not right. Mission failed, all right, I just screwed up there. So this first one is within one turn. Now within six turns, I want that there. Okay, so that's pretty helpful. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the turns. Uh, but So that's Cubic Escape. Not quite sure why it's called Cubic Escape, but I guess that'd be pretty helpful because often when I'm teaching someone how to solve a cube, they kind of have a hard time visualiz visualizing how to get one, like one sticker, I guess, or the little thing that was on the piece from one place to another within a certain amount of moves. So. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and look along the top, and we're going to click on the top one. All right, so I don't know if you can see right there on the left on the phone, it says total steps, and every time I do a turn, it does that. And it's pretty cool because it, it has a pretty quick reaction time. So turn, 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 turn. I'd say it's less than half a second, or maybe even half a second delay. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do an M slice. Okay, so it doesn't do the animation for that. And if you do a wide turn, it does the outer, it does the single turn. So instead of that, it's gonna keep white on top as if you did that turn. That's interesting. Okay, and it says right there the battery level 45% and connected and you can reset the cube status. We're gonna go ahead and go to this. So uh, this is, it looks like a regular timer, smart timer, it says it on the top and click ready after scramble. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a T perm and anti soon. So let's just say that's the scramble. I'm gonna hit ready and see what happens. All right, so it doesn't start the timer immediately. Right now it's waiting for me to twist to start time as you can see now that's really cool because often when you're in competition, the time it takes to put your hands on the timer grab the cube and then the time it takes to then let go of the cube and stop the timer, that time right there could potentially be the difference between having a world record and not having a world record. Cause you know, that, that takes up maybe like half a second of your time. Uh, so let's go ahead and start now. All right. And so that timer stopped immediately when I was finished solving. Now that is really, really cool. That's a really cool feature. Uh, that smart timer, 2.4 seconds, it says 0.104 uh, speed, not quite sure, 23 steps. So it told you how many steps there were as well as uh, the speed, I guess. So that's really cool. I'm gonna do a few example solves on that. Now let's go ahead and look at the rocket. Not quite sure that is quick solve. Follow me to solve the cube. Go, please scramble your cube. All right, I'm just gonna do checkerboard pattern. Go. Place your cube with those center pieces there. Okay, so I have that. I'm holding it that way. We're gonna go ahead and hit go. Follow me to solve the cube. There's, it says there's 12 turns, so there's the first turn. Second turn. Bottom one. Bottom one. Right. Right. Oh, wrong move, all right. Restore the status of the cube. And then I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do F, F, B, and B. I don't know if it'll do the optimal solution. This might just be for someone who happens to have a scrambled cube and has no idea how to solve it, but they wanna solve it and put it on their desk solved. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time, but this time I'm going to completely scramble this cube. And I apologize in advance if uh, I'm kind of moving the cube. I'm looking at the, the phone and then I kind of move my hand and then I look back at the camera and it's kind of off center. Uh, but bear with me here. I have a whole new desk, a whole new setup. Uh, lighting isn't necessarily the best. I will definitely work on that. But I'm super excited that I finally have this cube and finally have it connected. So let's see if this thing does a certain method. So we're gonna hit go. Going to uh, do it, put it or hold it with the right center pieces in the right spots. So that's the front face, the right face, and upper face, as you can see. All right, so there's 33 moves. So it looks like it does the optimal solution. All right, so it took me 74 seconds. That's really neat. Uh, see if there's any other settings. Otherwise, I'm just going to uh, let's see, that's the info about it. There's the info if you want to take a look at it. I guess, oh, is there volume on it? All right, let's try and do the uh, cubic run. See if there's any sound on that. Test your reaction by following the moves once again. Okay, so I wanna see how fast I can do this. Oh, so it did two moves there. Okay. All right, so I got to level 27. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a few example solves using the timer, which is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna use the most out of this. So uh, I guess one thing that's pretty uh, interesting, which I thought was gonna be on it is, I don't know if this is gonna be very helpful for teaching people, uh, like a, an actual method of how to solve the cube. 
I think that might be more for the Go Cube, which is the Kickstarter one, which I'll put a link to that down in the description. It just recently went live. I'll have a video out on that once that comes out. All right, so here I have my, uh, my Super Cube, Smart Cube, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to go ahead and do some solves. So one thing I realize is if I just do two moves, or I consider it one move, the app considers it two, and I hit ready, it says, please scramble your cube completely. So it's pretty neat that it, it sort of prevents you from doing that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and follow this scramble right here. Once again, these times are probably not going to be even sub 30, uh, just because the color scheme, I'm so not used to it. I will be getting new stickers for this. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do... Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to hit ready. There's the scrambled cube. Uh, does it match? Let's see if it matches. So when I hold the, orient or the, the, the orientation I hold the cube into scrambles white on top, green in front, which is what I did. Here, the default is uh, white on top, red, or orange on the right, and blue in front. So that now matches that. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see, but that now matches that. Now I'm going to go ahead and inspect. And it's cool, I don't even have to start anything. I don't have to put my hands on any timers. Uh, where are the white pieces? There's that, that. Okay. All right, I guess I can just start whenever. So as you can see, it should have started the timer right there. Okay, so there it stopped immediately, and then I did another turn, but it had already stopped. So that took 96 turns. Uh, so right here it says 0.25 uh, second speed. That's how many seconds it takes to do one move. So it took 23.51 seconds to do 96 moves. That's 0.245 seconds a move. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another scramble. Okay, hit ready. Uh, now I'll be having another video on this, video out on this probably later next week. Once I get uh, stickers, my own color scheme, and I can really like experience this cube uh, to the best of my ability, which is just basically getting new stickers and restickering it, uh, and then I will have another video out with a full review going over my favorite features. This is just an unboxing to show you guys exactly what features are on this. Uh, and then at the end of this solve, I'll briefly go over the problems with uh, this cube in competition. Okay, so I gotta wrap my head around that pink is red. That's where I'm having my main issue, and then that's orange. So, let's see. All right. So there's a sub 20. So that put, that took 86 moves and 0 0.204 seconds per move. So that's really neat. So this cube, I will not be disassembling. When I did some translations before when I was trying to figure out how to connect this thing to my phone, uh, it said to not dis uh, disassemble it. I'm also not gonna be lubing it. It is magnetic. Uh, once again, if you wanna look at the mechanism, you can go ahead and look at the website. It has the entire cube sort of taken apart there and you can see all the different uh, things. I'm also not going to take the center caps off because there are sensors there. So the issue with this cube being used in competition. Uh, so let's go ahead and say I submitted this cube in competition. The runner takes this up to the scramblers and I have this phone app up and I'm in the waiting in the competitor area. Then all I would have to do is click on the top left, which just shows the cube, my super cube. And then while they're scrambling it, I can see every single move that they do. Let's say I had this cube with me, my practice cube, and they were scrambling it with white on top, green in front. 
uh, if they're doing these moves, I could potentially record my screen, which I'm doing right now actually to show you this. I could somehow slow it down. While they do the scramble, you're just sitting there in the competitor waiting area and you see the scramble right in front of you. So that is the issue with this cube. All right, so that's about it for the Xiaomi Gaker Smart Cube. This cube is $32 on AliExpress. I'm going to re-sticker it and then I'm going to spend a lot of time with it over the next week and then get a review out for you guys next week. And I will also be getting the Go Cube when it comes out from Kickstarter. I'll have a link to that down in the description. However, this cube turns extremely well. Uh, all that I think needs to be done to it is have it re-stickered. Make sure you get yourself a micro USB cable because it does not come with one and you need that to charge the cube, which it is not charged when you get it. All right, I'm gonna mess around this cube for the next few days. Get back to you guys next week. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching.